نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب الشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي وجعل لي وزيرا من أهلي ربي زدني علما اللهم فكهنا في الدين اللهم فكهنا في الدين اللهم فكهنا في الدين آمين يا رحمة الرحيمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته once again uh, so last time we talked about ayah number 104 till 107 of surah al-baqarah and we were talking about before that we were talking about uh, the week before we were talking about uh, the time of Sulaiman alayhi salam and how people changed things and then last week we talked about how uh, some people from uh, Bani Israel used to change the word from uh, Raina to Raina, or they would uh, use it in a Hebrew sense and um, use the same word which has double meanings or use the word in a slightly wrong way, change the pronunciation a little bit and make it into a, uh, make some good word in, or some nice word into a swear word or even a disrespectful word. So they would do something like that and that was disallowed. And we also talked about abrogation, the concept of abrogation that the previous revelations that came like the Torah and the Injil and they all were from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well. But now it, they have been uh, replaced by the Quran because Quran is the final book. And with Quran, there is a promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that even if uh, people try to change it, they will not be able to change it. Nobody, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken the, the promise of protection of the Quran himself. So the Quran will be protected uh, until the day of judgment. It will be exactly as it is. Nobody will be able to make any changes into the Quran. And uh, last 14, over 1450 years, nobody has been able to, which is, uh, we can see that in action as well. So, uh, and then last we, um, last ayah 107, we talked about how uh, that it, it was a rhetorical question saying that, do you not know that to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth? And that besides Allah, there's no protector and helper. And today we'll continue with that. We'll do an, no, three ayahs today. Ayah 8, 108, 109, and 110. So I'll start with ayah number 108. A'udhu billahi min Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. أم تريدون أن تسألوا رسولكم كما سئل موسى من قبل ومن يتبدل الكفر بالإيمان فقد ضل سواء السبيل أم uh, أم means or تريدون uh, it comes from uh, Hamza, uh, Ra, and the Irada, like we say in Hindi and Urdu, I like to wish something, to desire something. So, Turiduna, do all of you wish, right? So, Am Turiduna, or do all of you wish, An, that, Tas Alu, it comes from the root words Sa, uh, uh, Sa, uh, Sin, Hamza, and Lam, Sa ala means like to ask, like even in Hindi and Urdu, we say Sawal Karna, right? To ask something. And, uh, Asking something, Sa'ala can have many shades to that question. Even in English, when we say someone questioned something, that means we could be using that in the sense that you ask something or you request something or you demand something. It could also mean something like you call something to account, like you questioned something or you raise an objection against something that uh, this person said something and I questioned what he said, right? So that you raise an objection against something. So it could be used in terms of even in English, we use it sometimes in terms of inquiry, like to ask something, to seek something, to to stand against something, and to ridicule or mock something even, right? And here it is used in the sense of to raise an objection against something. So here, what what it's basically saying is, am turiduna, or do you wish that tas alu that you ask, that you you raise an objection against, or you you're asking in the sense of, okay, why is this? Why is that? Like that that sort of a thing. It has that sort of a meaning. Tas alu, you ask Rasulakum. Rasul, Rasulullah, like the messenger, kum, your. So Rasulakum, your messenger. Or do you wish that you ask your messenger, kama, as, just like, suila. Suila is the passive tense of sa'ala. Like sa'ala is asking something. Suila, you were asked something. You know? So it is like was asked. It is a passive tense of the same word so kama suila as was asked who was asked musa musa alayhi salam min min qabl from before this 
ठीक है सो अम तुरीदुना अन तस अलू रसूल कुम कमा सो इलामोसा मिन कबल डू यू विश टू आस्क योर मैसेजर रेफरिंग टू मोहम्मद सल्लाम एज मूसा सलाम वॉज आस्ट फ्रॉम बिफोर यू गाइज राइट सो दिस is referring to the people in medina now the people in in medina are being addressed that do you wish to and this this is the believers who are being addressed and it is the the muslims who are still a bit weak in their like it's like uh, muslims who are, have accepted islam they're learning they're growing in their character they're growing in their iman but they're not super strong and they don't recognize they're like innocent and they don't re- recognize the tricks of other people when somebody comes to them and talks to them they they believe that person to be genuine which we should and and they should but sometimes they are not able to recognize but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the protector of the believers right so he he tells uh, the believers what is happening and he tells them to be careful so it's um, we'll go into a bit more tafsil in later on uh, but uh, the a bit weak muslims are being addressed here woman and whoever yatabaddali it comes from badala badal to change something to exchange something and we learned that before the like like the the bani sail used to change the word bani sail at the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in medina they used to change the word raina to raina right we learned that last week and we also learned before that historically they used to change the word hittatun to hintatun and they used to change uh, in the time of sulaiman alaihi wasallam instead of uh, following the ayat of uh, their holy book they would go towards magic and things like that so they were they were exchanging something nice and pure for something uh, which was not um, recommended and which was something evil right so or and whoever exchanges yatabaddal exchanges al kufra the disbelief bil iman with the faith right so somebody who anybody who wishes to uh, who exchanges the faith with disbelief so you giving up faith and getting disbelief in return faqad fa is so qad certainly definitely dalla dalla comes from dad lam lam and uh, just like in surah fatiha we ha- we say in, in at the last uh, um alhamdulillah rabbil alamin ar rahman ar rahim maliki yawmid din iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in ihdinas siratal mustaqim siratal ladina an'amta alayhim ghayril maghdubi alayhim walad dallin dallin comes from the same word da la la to go astray to um to get lost from the straight path right so if somebody does that whoever exchanges this belief with the faith then certainly that person what he did was he went astray astray uh, he went away from he he got deviated from from what sawa as sabil sawa means straight and sabil means path right so sawa as sabil is another expression uh similar not not exactly same but similar to sirat al mustaqim like sirat al mustaqim is a straight path sirat you can think of it like that like sirat is a one big highway going towards the the right path going towards the path of allah subhanahu wa taala that a, a path which is straight a big highway sort of a thing and sabil are the 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 roads which are joining that that highway which are coming towards that highway from different things so there can be many ways to come to allah subhanahu wa taala in like somebody comes through hardship somebody comes through receiving the message somebody would come to the path of allah by listening to the quran and understanding the meaning of the quran somebody will come through research somebody will come through something else every person has a different story different people come to islam whether they're born muslims or whether they are reverts they start their hearts get closer to islam because of different reasons in their own lives and everything and those little, and they start progressing in different ways and they have different sabil right so different little little paths everyone has their own path somebody is uh, even in good deeds somebody is very good in um, somebody is very very good in like optional voluntary additional prayers somebody would pray and then they would pray a lot more a lot more a lot more somebody is very good in charity and uh, they would give a lot and a lot and a lot somebody is spends their time a lot in knowledge they will be gaining knowledge and they'll be uh, imparting knowledge to others and sharing whatever they gain with others somebody is very good in uh, you know working for different causes for the sake of allah subhanahu wa taala it could be many different ways but um, from all these straight even paths a person gets anybody who exchanges this they get distracted from them they go away from them so what this ayah is saying is or do you intend